But also, I like Diego in this comp as well, as that is a great abyssal dive. Ghost already exhausted here as Teddy and Moham. Really getting in there on the bottom side. Dread looking to try and answer here as he moves towards mid lane. And BDD gets the Circle of Frost. Fate's going to have to flash. He even gets that cannon, I believe. That's what I said. Number go up. As Abyssal Dive aggressively one more time as Ghost taking a lot of damage from Teddy. Ellen moving on forward. He has Flash available and there's no Flash on Ghost anymore. First Blood! I mean, this the second time, time Moham has had a great Abyssal engage. This time it leads to a follow-up kill. Teddy? Yeah, well, there's the grand entrance. Nice sidestep from Moham, but off the board. I'm hoping for some Hex Gates. Oh, would be fun. craziness as we check out Moham's angle here. So gets the tongue lash okay, here. Okay, 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 wow. okay, okay. I actually okay, double okay, it. Okay, and Kaisa, he's Kaisa, like, I'm going in, I'm going in, I'm going in. Calls out to Kaisa, focus Kaisa. on Kaisa. Hey. And he's like, boom, Kaisa. got a stun. And he flashes to chain it together. Huh? Well played. Beautifully done. Yeah. Playing the long con game here. But Dread is going to move on in, and BDD has rotated up as well. LM comes out. There's an early ultimate from Keen, but BDD does get the Circle of Frost, and there goes the Kale. Nothing that he could do. Dread picks him up, and uh, that is going to be a double very comfortably here for Nongshim. Pushing. Well, now we're going to turn off this turret, and Ghost is real dead, guys. Yep, Teddy. Speaking of Dive Mom, going to try to come forward here. Gets the slow. Yeah, but he does come down. There's the exhaust. We do get the hex gates. Is Effort going to look to come in? The ulti was used, but the Devourer is still there. Trushop Barrage. He's going to mean Ghost takes so much damage. The battle dance, the double, the shields come in, and Dread's able to body block. Man, that was so close for the Quantum Freak's bottom lane. Trying to pick up a plate here, but this is not oh the end. Oh dear, the catfish is for dinner tonight. Oh, actually, he made it home. What the heck? Well, Teddy is not going to be so lucky. Effort's going to be in a bit of trouble here, but BDD will say goodnight. To the slightly end. Slightly interested, so they were down members on the bottom side. So free plate goes over, and then this happens. Where let's see exactly how close it is. Yeah, just like about a frame right. ahead. And then Teddy is definitely 110 percent dead. Yep. Gets a plate, but greets for it, dies, gives him extra gold over to the side of Nongshim. And Nongshim is still. As uh, Ghost down here just trading farm with Teddy, but he is a grand entrance, gonna knock up the catfish, but not too much more. BDD a little bit late to this party as Dread. Is so consistently good. clearing away this vision, so things like this can happen. Yeah, Frozen Tomb comes in, there's the quickness as well. Grand entrance is fantastic, and this is why Effort has been picking this Rakan over and over again. Frozen Thralls as well. As Voidseeker comes forward, the Killer Instinct to follow up. Teddy immediately cleanses, but he's still very low as BDD trying to get more, but Fate offers some damage back, so they're not looking to be able to get too much more. True Shot Barrage will connect as Keen has teleported in. Much better look for, for Kwandong. Kana, though, now fighting against Keen, who does have level 11, but Kana's got the needlework. The ulti comes through, but Kana just staying in melee range and fighting this one out. Off to the side, Teddy moves on forward, Kana just tanking this one up, Riftmaker is there, BDD spotted on the flank, and in goes Effort now, looks for that quickness, it is going to be the steal away of the Drake, so no soul this time around as Kana went golden, Keen throws down the ulti, BDD caught out of position but does have a stopwatch, Keen now trying to get himself out with the flash and does so, Dread goes golden to Quandog Freaks, they will find the team fight and deny the soul. of this game. Another hiccup here. See whether they can keep themselves together. There's a two part, or there's really just two sides to this fight. This Kana is trying to 1v3 oh. down here. The sidestep from Kane as well. Just get out of the grand entrance is fantastic. But Teddy on the top side of this is untouched, and when they retreat down to try to collapse onto Kana, the Nongshim players, to try to go in and help him assist to secure the Drake, Teddy is like, all right, cool, all the pressure is off of me. Uh -huh. And again, Keen has a really great ultimate here. He does a uh -huh. lot of damage in this fight. Just out of the charm. Yeah. Totally uh -huh. fine. The sidestep was just fantastic. And he's on the wall. He's on the wall. Gets out of here with his life, too. <laughs> and he's not even level 16 yet, so it gets worse from here. I don't it there. certainly does. He's even gifted the kill towards the end, but man, that was. Um, all right, look at BDD's positioning here. Trying to find an angle over the wall. Kana on the other side, rocking a hard place. You know, meme never realer than it is now. Yeah, that control ward, you could probably hit that one, BDD, as Effort, gonna have to grand exit, does so. As Teddy just frontlining, trying to get all of this poke in where he can. And he's doing a great job of it so far. 
Yeah. Okay. Can Dread secure this Drake is the question as Nongshim can just burst it down. He flashes, but he's not able to pick it up. As now BDD is trying to take control of this fight. He flashes forward, but Keen is just massive. But is he massive enough? No, he's not. It's only level 15, and it's not going to be enough. Now it's Dread's turn to be the Kale, but they do have the soul. And this time, Nongshim win the fight. Dread actually looking for a bit more as Mohan. Oh no, the Killer Instinct still available here for Ghost. His fate's going to get tidied up, and Nongshim are just going to say goodnight to this team fight completely. I thought No Way Home was a Spider-Man movie, yeah. but it's Kwong Dung Freaks' fate here this time around. Nongshim was such a <laughs> great fight. Oh. And I mean, I mean, I love this from our observers. They have no vision whatsoever. They will see this teleport point, but it might be too late. Yeah. In goes Kana, dives forward. He's pretty immune, as you can see. The claw comes forward. Keen has to ult very, very quickly in this fight. PDD is going to exchange it with his own ultimate. Keen's trying to get these autos down, but it's not going to be enough. Ghost picks up the kill. Kana is basically untouched. I guess Gwen just is actually immune. I don't know. As Nongshim are going to say thanks for the leash, I guess. And we're going to go back to the Baron, the work we already started. Effort's is going to get popped, though, as Teddy will throw an ulti through. And this might actually buy some space. You'd probably trade the Rakan for the Kale, though, if you are Nongshim. As Guangdong Freak's looking to back away, Kana is still very, very strong. They will be able to secure the Baron, but can Guangdong Freak allow them out or not as Ghost? Supercharges forward, the charm goes very, very wide. There's Element Fate back down here trying to defend, but they've already lost the inhibitor turret in the mid lane. True Shot Barrage, Teddy trying to take things into his own hands. Effort's still extraordinarily squishy, but does create enough space. As BDD finds the flank, the Devourer is going to be used on Moham. Immediately destroyed, Effort gets his revenge. It's a double for Ghost is now keen. Can you defend against all of Nongshim bearing down on your Nexus turrets? Nongshim are wanting to say goodnight to this game and pick up their first 2-0 of the season. Their first victory of the season as Elm dives forward, but he's food for Ghost, who's looking for that unofficial Fenta. The Heartbreaker to come forward. The Nexus turrets are now dead as Keen. Can you get the autos through? The ult E is going to come down, but I don't think it's going to be enough. He is eventually taken, and they want none of it. They're just going to focus the Nexus and win the series.